I've been in New York for a long time, and it was the simple lack of being able to find this delicious, beautiful, unbelievable beverage that I kept hearing about that is sort of what made me say, maybe I could be the one to do this first in this culinary city that uh, thought of coffee as a joke. You know, when we started our company seven years ago, this didn't exist in New York City at all. I mean, Starbucks was what people looked to when they wanted a good cup of coffee. And Ken Nye had been in business a couple years and doing it really well in the Far East Village. But other than that, this wasn't something that was on anybody's mind. And if you look now, when, uh, when the Times last wrote a big article, they had, uh, I think, 30 places to list of exceptional quality in the paper and 70 online. It is such a changed world that it's almost surreal to hear about what's happened. we got Oliver Strand in the audience, we're, we're going to, because he curates that, and right. it's an amazingly it's comprehensive a, listing. Yeah, it is, and if you've lived it, it's just, you know, again, it's surreal to sit in this room when New York was the joke of coffee in our country, and now you call it the most important city in the country.